Well, good evening, everyone. Evening. Okay, you all can come off of mute and say good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. And Sister Lucy, if you would allow me to share. Okay, once again, I, I want to thank everyone for tuning in tonight as we continue with our repentance and renewal uh, study of the seven churches in Revelation. I pray everyone has come to tonight's uh, gathering uh, just in a good frame of mind, uh, expecting to hear a word from God and expecting to enjoy the opportunity that we had to fellowship. I'm going to ask uh, Sister Natalie if she will lead us in prayer tonight. Okay. Uh, you're breaking Heavenly up. Heavenly Father, though. we come before you this evening. Yes, Sister so Natalie, minds and you're thoughts breaking up. I'm breaking Yes. Okay. Okay, that's the best I can do. I don't know what's the problem. I'm still breaking up. No, you sound good now. I'm still breaking up. No. Okay, so maybe. I... What? Go on. Yes, please. So, Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening with our mind and thoughts on repentance and renewal of our hearts and mind. We thank you for this time. On turning away from our sins and words, thoughts and deeds, and, and turn our focus towards the mercy and grace state that repentance is not given to heal us from guilt. Thank you, Father, for the preacher tonight that will take us yes, further God, into the you. teaching of repentance and renewal by continuing to study the message of the seven churches. But now, and may our lives demonstrate, please bless everyone on Zoom one and the sound of our voice need prayer. Have mercy upon them. Teach us to look to you and to have faith that no matter what we're going through, you are in with us and you will see us through. And for this, we give you praise. Amen. Amen. Go through? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, <laughs> Sister Natalie. Well, as we continue on with our study of the seven churches, uh, I, I pray that we are uh, really taking advantage of this Lenten season. Uh, yes. It's an opportunity where we have an opportunity to, uh, to refresh ourselves and to uh, to go to God in prayer and repent of the things that we know that are offline with God. And I I pray that we, we have allowed ourselves to meditate on what this season is really all about. Oh, As we yes. approach uh, one of the, the saving grace of Christianity, yes. uh, which uh, is the crucifixion of our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. And as we just... Uh, journey our way to the resurrection, which is uh, the foundation of our faith. Uh, without the resurrection, uh, this would be really a waste of time. But we serve a God that has promised us uh, that uh, we will forever be together with him. Yes. And as we study these seven churches, uh, as let us be reminded that the book of Revelation addresses the seven letters to the seven churches in the Asia Minor. Each letter is proclaimed by Jesus and recorded by John the Apostle. 
declares the triumphs and failings of the recipient churches and warn each congregation to repent. Their advice in these letters is prophetic, forewarning the present-day Christian communities of the snares that can lure us away from our faith. And as we have uh, begin uh, our uh, Lenten season, uh, in fact, we started on Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. uh, February the 14th, and we uh, we started with Reverend uh, Cheryl Clark, uh, who gave us uh, from the feedback of Jesus on the Church of Ephesus, where we talked about that the church that had been abandoned, it had abandoned God's love for Christ. Pardon me, it had abandoned their love for Christ and his teachings. So they had gotten away uh, from, from the love of God. Uh, then uh, Reverend Aaron Bailey uh, spoke to us uh, from about the Church of Smyrna, and that was a church that remained faithful even in the midst of their persecution. Then we uh, had Reverend Crystal Honesty to share with us uh, concerning the Church at Pergamon, and that was a church that had compromised its beliefs. Then we had Reverend Philip Ware uh, to share with us from the uh, concerning the church at Tyatira. And uh, that's the church that had followed false prophets. Mm -hmm. Then we had last week, we had Reverend Sherelle Venning uh, to share with us concerning the church at Sardis. And that church uh, was spiritually dead. And uh, tonight, we're going to have the pleasure of hearing from my friend and uh, one that is very strong in the ministry, uh, Reverend Robert Thomas. Robert Thomas. So we're going to look forward to uh, the Church of Philadelphia tonight. And uh, before we do, I would like us to read our scripture, our undergirding scripture. Uh -oh which is found in Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. And could I have someone to read Revelation 2, 1 through 11? I can't see it that well on my screen. Is it in the Bible? I know it's in the Bible. Uh, actually, it's on the screen. I can't I see it. It's too small. Okay, let me call somebody out then. Reverend Crystal, can you see Revelation 2, 1 through 11 on the screen? I can't really see it, but I can pull it up on my phone. Oh, oh, I can do that. Okay. Revelation 2, 1 through 11. Yes, please. The Loveless Church. To yes. the angel of the church of Ephesus write, these things say, he who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden lampstands. Yeah, Reverend, no, no. Reverend no. Crystal, if you would read Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Um, I was Gosh. reading it from, am I on mute? I was reading it from the New King James Version. Revelation 2, 1 through 11? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. It'd be Rapture. totally different there. Yeah. Uh, what I'm version sorry. is on the screen? It, it, it was on Revelation, 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 Revelation 1. one. Revelation yes, 1. Through 11. Revelation 1? Yes. yes. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can read it. That's my bad. <laughs> Revelation 1, 1 through 11. Introduction and benediction? The Revelation Church of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place. And he sent and he signified it by his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, to all things that he saw. Blessed is he who reads and who and those who hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written in it 
for the time is near. John, to the seven churches who are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who, who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth. To him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with clouds and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was on the island that is called Patmos for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard behind me a loud voice as of a trumpet saying, I am the alpha and the omega, the first and the last. What you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, to Thyatira, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Amen. Well, we just now, uh, we have put everything in context, and I'm going to ask now if uh, Reverend Karen now would introduce our speaker for the evening. Okay. I will be glad to. Reverend Robert <laughs> B. Thomas is an itinerant deacon in the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Reverend Thomas served as pastor of Allen Chapel Andy Church from... 2006 to 2010. He also served as pastor of Bradford Memorial AME Church from 2010 to 2011. Both of these churches were located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He served on the ministerial staff of St. Mark AME Church, Milwaukee from 2011 to 2015. And he currently serves on the ministerial staff at Jerusalem Empowered AME Church, also in Milwaukee. Reverend Thomas was licensed to preach in 1983 at Second Baptist Church, Evanston, Illinois. He was ordained in 1991 by the pastor, Dr. Heisel B. Taylor. Oh. He served as assistant pastor at South Shore United Church of Christ in South Chicago, Illinois, in 91 through 96, 1996. Reverend Thomas served as the site manager and director of senior ministries at Ebenezer Prim Towers. It is an affordable senior housing complex and it's sponsored by Ebenezer AME Church. He served there from 1997 to 2009. He was also my supervisor. But he didn't have that in the bio. I just added that. During this period, he also served as, as on the ministerial staff of Ebenezer, where he has written and he taught several seminars on issues surrounding faith. By the grace of God, he was blessed to preach and teach original writings on evangelism as part of Ebenezer's evangelism mission team, to Nigeria, West Africa, and Jamaica, West Indies. Furthermore, he also served as the coordinator of the Call to Joy Ministry. It is a discipleship series for new members that joined uh, Ebenezer AME Church. Reverend Thomas oh. has received his BA in Sociology from Roosevelt University, Chicago, he has also studied at North Park Theological Seminary and Payne Theological Seminary. I can say to you, he is an anointed and gifted teacher and Amen. preacher. 
Reverend Thomas accepted his call to ministry as a child. He is married to the lovely Chandra E. Thomas. He and his wife, Chandra, both reside in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I am honored and elated to introduce to some and present to others our friend, God's son in the ministry, the Reverend Robert B. Thomas. Amen. Hear ye, hear ye. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Praise the Lord. If it's okay, if I'll go ahead and get started right here. Yes. Amen. Uh, certainly, um, you know, that, 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 that's a wonderful word. Okay. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. So anyway, uh, once again, I was about to say, because I believe it was on last week that uh, Pastor uh, your pastor was beginning to talk about friend. And, you know, it's wonderful that you can be introduced in that sort of way, my friend. Uh, and it, it do good to have friends and ministry and wherever you're on your work site, wherever you are. And I, mm -hmm. I'm glad that they can call me friend. I can call them friend. Amen. We've had opportunity to share uh, a whole lot in uh, the season. Not so much in the latter part of these last several years. Still friends, though. And that's the important thing. Uh, we are, again, looking at the church at Philadelphia today. I, I believe uh, I got some stuff over here on the computer here, but I'm going to leave that alone. I think I'm gonna, we're going to walk right down here in the exegetal style of our text on today, if you all are okay with that. Amen. Now, we Amen. only got a short period of time. So, you know, I'm going to be picking a couple of things and we'll move right on past that. Uh, but let's, let's hear the text. I'm going to be reading out of the New King James Version. And here, beginning in chapter number three, verses seven, and reading on down to the end of this uh, story concerning the church at Philadelphia. Uh, your Bible, depending on how you look at it, may, may call it the faithful church. Uh, there are a lot of different titles as we have progressed through this study uh, that are addressing the churches. And this is called uh, the faithful church. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, these things says he who is holy, he who is true, he who has the keys of David, he who opens and no one shuts, he who shuts and no one can open. I know your work. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it. For you have a little strength, uh, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not, but lie. Indeed, I will make them come and worship before your feet, and know that I have loved you, because you have kept my commands because you have kept my to command to persevere, I also will keep you from your hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. He who <laughs> overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. I will write on him the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write on him my new name. Ending at verse 13, he who, she who has near, let them hear what the spirit says unto the church. Amen. Amen. Want to speak for just uh, these uh, next few minutes. From the subject, I got a new name over in glory. <laughs> yes. I, I, our uh, charge, and, and, and you hear the pastor saying it over and over, uh, that we're in a Lenten season, and it is a time where the church uh, uh, takes a pause. 
And we are the church. Now, I hope you know that. We ain't talking about the building. We had great or institutional, but we're not talking about the building. We ain't talking about brick and mortar. We're talking about flesh and blood that has been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. So yeah, we need yeah. to understand then who and what. So in this body, in this temple, which the Lord also lets us know is the temple, the dwelling place of the Holy Ghost. Uh, and so you've been charged uh, in this course of study uh, with seven churches, seven weeks. That's going to come out in 49 days. Uh, uh, you know, there are some things doctrinally that we have when we go through talking about who we are, what we believe. It's important, people of God, that we know both who we are, who we are, and what it is that we're standing for. Amen. 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 And, and, and too often, you know, you sit up and you're talking to folks and they say they're part of the church, but they can't tell you anything about what the church is. I, mm. You need to know when you see me, you see the church. If, mm. As a matter of fact, sometimes the only church anybody is going to see is you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Uh, and I'm going to be picking back in on the, during these next few uh, minutes with that theme that we've heard over and over throughout. Whoever has an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying. Your pastor has been saying to you, and I say to you again, that the Lord is trying to speak to us in these days and in these times. We don't want to get mixed up. We don't want to get confused. John is on the island of Patmos. John has been, because he's been preaching and they have put him literally on lockdown, but John ain't on lockdown because the Holy Ghost is talking to him. Absolutely. And when the Holy Ghost began to speak, the one that's speaking through him is the author and the finisher of our faith, Jesus Christ. We need to be clear because sometimes we, we want to take these things off and put them out as a dead letter. We run into error and the pastor is saying to you and I have to continue to warn us that we are in the last days. Revelation is about the things that are going to happen during this time, and we're modeling or looking at churches and the things that have to be said about them, which is also speaking to us. But again, I say unto you that the church is the body of Christ. Now, yes, yes. Yes. if we're clear about that, see, because so many times we're trying to make up stuff as we go along, and that's not how God would do it. When we look at the descriptions about this church and what Jesus himself had to say about it, I hope to make some points. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, draw on that. But I want to pause for just a moment. Amen. Uh, listen, I know uh, uh, Reverend Karen read that in the ordination and the baptism, and uh, sometimes folks get all caught up, hung up on some stuff. You know, it ain't about all of that. But in our tradition, we do take time to pray. Amen. So before we Amen. press on any farther, let's just pause for just a moment. A holy God, we thank you right now for this opportunity to share, Lord, what you, you have God. shared with me. I ask you to bless this, your people right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for the shepherd and his mate right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We do boldly declare, oh God, that you will put a shield around them. You will encourage them, build them up, strengthen them, oh God. Give them wisdom for the flock. We ask these things in the name of your son, Jesus the Christ. Now, Lord, we say, use this, your preacher, God, to your glory, for your name's sake, for the edification of the body of Christ. In yes, Jesus' yes. name, amen. 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 So, so there's just a couple of things. Uh, you know, one of the things before I press on, uh, Reverend Karen talked about the fact that she and I both serve on that staff in Ebenezer up under Dr. James Wade, and one of the things that he said unto us, we need to know the heart of the preacher, of our pastor, amen? And I'm going to say this to you, uh, Greater Institutional, I want to encourage you to know the heart of your pastor. Uh, he already said, a friend, he ain't paying me for saying this, but he's a teacher extraordinary, amen? Uh, and uh, sometimes you. we get caught up, we, get, we, get, we, we got our own idea of what we think, the, the shepherd ought to look like, but God, the word says, appoints shepherds after his own heart. Amen? I, I'm going to say all of that because there amen. are some things when we look over in this particular text, amen? And again, let me tell you that I'm not, I'm not being paid for these comments that I'm making, amen? I just come to tell you what thus says the Lord. For in these days, God is calling his church to a higher plane. Yes, and the is. question is, are we going to be ready? A -a -a Amen. But let's just walk down, as I say, let's be exegetical as we begin to look at the text and we hear what's being said. 
who is talking, if we look careful, we know that it is Jesus, the one who holds the seven star. We went back to the introduction, so we want to know to whom, uh, who is speaking and to whom is he speaking. He's speaking to John, but John has been charged to speak to the different churches who are scattered throughout a place called Asia. If you have the opportunity and you go back and look up over at the map, to see those churches, they're scattered in different places, but it is not about, uh, you know, it, it, it is in order that we might discover things. I believe God is using the different churches and things that the apostle John has encountered in his relationship with them. And now the Holy Spirit wants to remind them of some things and let them know that time is running out. Time is running out for us, mm -hmm. church. And we're going to have to be able to give an account and stand before the king of keys and, king of, and give an answer for what we have done in the time that he has given us. Now, let me say this unto us, just in case you're yes, not clear. Yes. Amen. See, uh, we talk about, uh, what, what, what's that subject we're doing? Renewal? Repentance and, and, and renewal. Oh, oh, yeah, I know that, Reverend Karen. I just want to hear the people say it. Amen. Uh, <laughs> but they all have to understand the of God. There cannot be renewal without repentance. Hallelujah. Now, I say it again. There is no renewal without repentance. Folks are looking for a change, but they don't want to do the things involved in getting the change. We want to hold on to the okay. whole stuff and somehow look and think. That is going to, but what Jesus already taught us, you can't put new wine in old wine skin. All right. And, and All so right. We, one of our problems while we cannot move forward as the church of the living God is that we keep on trying to hold on to old stuff. Talking about the way we used to do it, or we don't do it like that. No, you do it the way that the Holy Ghost tells you to do it. And if you want to get God results, do it God's way. Amen. And that's enough being said right there. For just a moment, amen? But let, let me walk you through, because listen, this ain't what I am thinking about. What I, It is what the Word of God says. Because listen to what Jesus uh, opens up and tells him, I, I know you. Hmm. Uh, are, you are you listening? He's talked that way about all of the churches. I'm going to flip back over here to the text and walk right down the text. I am in the King James Version of the text. And when we hear him Speaking to that, he's he writing to this church and he says, uh, wait a minute, listen, I am Jesus. I am the Alpha. I am the mm -hmm. Omega. I am the one who opened doors and we need to know because we belong. I, I like one of one of one of the uh, 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 one of y'all. Y'all know him. I want y'all to be able to say, it, but he has a song where he talks to a group called God's Property. And you and I must understand that I belong to God. I am God property. He paid a price for me. He bought me with his blood. Amen? And then when mm -hmm. I understand what he did, because Romans chapter 5 say, if he did not withhold his only son, how shall he withhold any other good and perfect gift? Hallelujah. We got to understand who we are because, see, we fell then to make a demand on the anointing of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Pastor. I'm glad you you speaking out there. I want to get the other folks to join in. See, because one of the one of the problems is that the Spirit is always ready to move on our behalf. But the Spirit, mm -hmm. do you remember that uh, Jesus was out there teaching over five thousand people, a multitude of people around him? And but it was the woman that reached out in mm -hmm. faith, her faith made a demand on the anointing of God. How do we know mm -hmm. this? Because Jesus turned around and said, "I felt something go up out mm -hmm. of me." Mm. If we want to have renewal, we got to make a, a contact with the Lord. We got to move in a place where in the spirit of God feels the demand and that anointing goes out. Can I take you a little bit further in this particular thing that I'm saying to you? I want to encourage you. You know, one of the things we, we do in the AME gathering and we, we say, uh, all right, give them a margin order. Say out, y'all, preach, preach and preach. And that if we do it right, it begins to release <laughs> the anointing of God. Hallelujah. Let me say this again because I want you to learn and understand that God has put a shepherd over you. And if you want to see the power of God begin to move, ain't that he ain't powerless, he don't know how to do it. But when you put a demand on it by your faith. Hmm. Oh, I know. I, I, listen, somebody says it's tight, but it's right. Oh, hey, hey, man. Hey. <laughs> I need the people of God, and God has charged me. I'm a teacher. I am a teacher. 
Amen. I'm confident of the one who called me to teach. And, and I believe then that we will begin to hear, because watch when we walk <laughs> down through this text, I'm going to show you something, people of God. Amen. So Amen. as we're looking to Jesus say, I open doors that no man can close, the ones I close, ain't nobody going to be able to Amen. open. You ain't got the word when you're walking with God. He got your back. You're okay. front inside everything. Amen. And Amen. when he opens and says, yes, ain't nobody going to be able to change what God has declared for yeah. you. He's Hallelujah. talking about the faithful church at Philadelphia. Amen. Amen. We don't want Amen. to get lost. Sometimes we get to talking about it, but Philadelphia is the place. The church is the body of believers that are gathered there in that house. Amen. Amen. So, so let, let, let's not get it twisted. Amen. So as he began Amen. to write there and he, he lets them know, uh, first of all, that uh, I have set before you, oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to step into that anointing and mm -hmm. open the yes. door? Oh, yeah. Mm. See, I have set before you an open door. But there's yeah, a yeah. reason why he can say I've set before you an open door. If you recall back in Deuteronomy all the way around about the 28th chapter, if you're careful to obey everything that I have taught you, behold, everywhere you go, everywhere you step your foot, it will yeah, be given yeah. unto you. The Lord promises what he's going to do when we are obedient. Yes, yes. Now the change... <laughs> Some folks like to put the Old Testament back there, but the same thing that was required then is required of us now. It's obedience. Hallelujah. Amen? Yes. Amen. And, and, and so, uh, and, and, and here's what he said. I've said before you to open door. No one can shut it. You have worked, and, and I know this journey seems hard. You've been going through a whole lot of struggles. You've been experiencing Amen. all kinds of difficulties. But don't worry about that. Y'all remember Jesus said, we're going to have trials. We're going to have tribulation. Be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. Are you listening to yes. me on this day? Yes. yes. So yes. why do I not have it though? Look, look what the evidence okay. is. Say, my word you have kept my word. Can I say that again? You have kept my word and you have not denied my name. Oh, oh that, that, that's a word right there. Oh, yeah. You have kept my word. Yes. If you yes. love me, keep my commandments. You, you heard Jesus uh -huh. saying that, right? Yes. So, yes. Uh, 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 yes. But then there's also identified an enemy in the church. We heard it earlier. <laughs> And say the of the those are the synagogue of Satan. Mm -hmm. mm. Now some translations say pretenders, fake folk, folk that pretend and acting like there's something that they are not. Mm. All right, and, and and God say I'm gonna take care of that. Don't you worry about them. Just you just keep doing what you've been doing. I got that. Amen. And sometimes mm -hmm. we spend too much time. We can't go nowhere because we're worrying about what people said about us and what they think. And, 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 and then folks got caught up in gossip. We all worried about that. And then some other folks want to tell you about how they used to do what they do, but they won't follow the things that the pastor is trying to encourage them and leading them to do. They got all kinds of ways of doing. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Reverend, I'm glad you mentioned that. I didn't know that was in that Bible I gave you. But uh, at my trial sermon, uh, <laughs> Pastor, I, I, I preach a sermon that says, Shepherds lead, sheep follow. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. And I, I said, this is not difficult. If you're not the shepherd, you are a sheep. Sheep mm. follow where the shepherd leads them. Are, are, are we listening? Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we've already heard in uh, the introduction, uh, amen, uh, that there's mm -hmm. some things that we got to do. And we have uh, as a theme, repentance and renewal. Mm -hmm. Amen? Some yeah. of us got to repent because we got our Man. mouth on the shepherd. Hmm. Oh, and y'all can go ahead and say it. Tell, tell, go tell, a guy, tell that crazy preacher talking about we got our mouth, but the Lord is the one that warns us. Touch not. Hmm. 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 Somehow right. we forget, you know, Miriam, big brother, big sister, Aaron, <laughs> got up there and challenged Moses. Amen. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and God said, I appoint and I anoint. All right. You know, sometimes we, we get we think too much of ourselves and we begin to 
try to determine who mm. can and cannot. God makes a choice. And see, when we, we, we cut off our blessings, when we get in that place of stubbornness, sick neck, and hard-headedness. Mm. Hey, hey, amen. Mm. Let me just move on. But if you watch me, I'm right here in the word, people of God. I'm walking <laughs> right down here. And, and listen, let me show you. You see all that red there? This is Jesus talking. This ain't me talking. I'm just doing some exhorting. <laughs> Amen. 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 So he continues to say, indeed, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to yes. take care of, of yes. that synagogue yes. of Satan. All right? And Amen. indeed. I'm going to make them come and worship. I'm going to make them bow down at your feet. We know it by your, you know, I'm going to make your enemies your footstool. Y'all y'all heard that, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and because mm -hmm. you have kept yes. my command. So let me go back over here again. Jesus is telling how and why I'm able to bless you because you have kept my command. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because you have kept my command Amen. and you to persevere. I will also keep you in those difficult times and that it says in the hour of trial, I'm going to keep you. Don't worry about anything. You may feel like you're in the fire of furnace, but I'll be right there with you, just like I was there with the Hebrew boy. You mm. may think that, you know, mm, you're yes. attacking in the lion's den. Don't worry. Whatever you're going through, behold, I'm with you always, the Bible says, even to the end of the age. We got to be sure about who we are serving and who we are. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he, he's Amen. able to keep me. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. and, and I don't have to. Okay. That's another thing. The enemy like to keep us from pressing forward. But guess what? We trying to hold up our own rather than letting mm -hmm. God do mm -hmm. God's work. So we get to try to get up and get in the middle of God's work rather than doing the work that God called me to do. Mm. Uh oh. Uh -uh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> After they might not even go to the they don't call that boy back no more. But listen, got to tell somebody. Oh, amen. See, obedience amen. is better than sacrifice. Amen. Yes. Amen. amen. All the blessings that we're asking God for is hindered and can be resolved simply by saying, God, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, amen. But because you have kept my commands, amen. I'm going to keep you in the time of trials, in the time mm -hmm. of tribulation, yeah. and right. reminding us, behold, I come quickly. Hey, you need to read yeah. the rest of the book because the end of the story, let the one that loved the Lord say, come quickly, God. Are you yeah. excited uh, huh, about what Christ has done for you? Are you excited? full of expecting that he's going to come. He said, because I'm going to make a place for you that where I am, you may be also. Awesome. Anybody, right. have anybody glad right. about that? Determine oh, yes. know what your oh, end yes. is from the beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. No matter how stuff looks, Jesus has promised, I'm going to be with you all the yeah, way. Yeah. Whatever you're going yeah. through, don't worry about it. Look, I've already done it, experienced it. It's all been laid on my... Pastor telling us that now we're looking back and we're approaching Easter, but we want to get there without getting the Good Friday. Mm, mm, all right. Mm. <laughs> and listen what the instruction is. Hold fast. Mm. Mm. Don't get weary and well doing. Mm. You mm. shall mm. reap the yes. mm. and uh, and John talking things. good, ain't he? All right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and it says, now watch this. I'm going to make you a pillar in this foundation. I, I, I had a little thing. You know, mm -hmm. I, I like the way uh, our sister presented last week talking about the movie. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm way old school. Some of you might not be able to catch up with it, but if you can, uh, way back in the, you know, when I was a little fella. Uh, you know, we played cowboys and Indians and, uh, you know, the girls played with the little dolls, you know, Bobby and all that came out. They, that was, uh, you know, a part of being in your childhood. But one of the things, you know, I, I, I you know, I watched Western and somewhere down that line, there was a Western that came on, uh, you may know it, uh, you may not, it uh, start Chuck Connors, Brandon. Right from man. <laughs> okay. We're talking about the rifle man, man, but he also <laughs> played a role called Brandon. And in Brandon, he was accused of something that 
was not right, but because of that, they put a brand on him. And everywhere he'd go, they would call him, you know, a coward or a, a, a rebellious person. And listen, people of God, the Bible lets us know that they're going to call us everything but a child of God. But the reason why mm. I brought that up mm. is that, you know, we got this new thing, this new age thing, and we're talking about our brand. The church is running around talking about their brand. This is my brand. And, 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 and we got to be careful trying you know fit too much into how the world does what the world do because we're trying to appeal through things that that, that ain't gonna do nothing to save nobody all right so, can i say that again <laughs> the bible somebody says i preach jesus christ crucified mm -hmm. dead risen from the dead no other mm -hmm. name given whereby we must be saved say the name of jesus we got mm -hmm. to get back to the foundation one of the reasons why folks don't know how to come out of darkness is because the folks that ought to be walking in the light they ain't shining no light mm -hmm. i tell mm -hmm. people all the time people of god that you can't mm -hmm. blame a man for mm -hmm. walking in darkness when nobody would turn on the light mm -hmm. and we, we, we're trying to you know, the bible tells me I am the light of the world. Like, you know, oh, Jesus, but I'm, I'm, I'm his representative. Yes. And what I got to let my light shine. Mm -hmm. So when I go and when I'm set fast, when I'm holding fast to the word of God, because the other part of this thing is in their being faithful, guess what they were doing? They were speaking what thus says the Lord. But we want to mm -hmm. look and want to wonder why the will of God ain't been done. Mm -hmm. Jesus told us, when you pray, say your will be done. When is the mm. last time the people of God stood face to face with the adversary and said the word of God said? We try mm. to stand on everything other than the word of God. And Jesus himself says in this text, because you've been faithful, you've held on to my word. You uh, you ain't tried to change nothing, not modify anything, not to appease nobody. You spoke what thus says the Lord. And see, the Bible is clear. When my word goes yeah. forth, it cannot return it to me. Boy, we want to see change happen in the earth realm. Speak what the Lord said. Hallelujah. Hmm. All right. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. How do I know what the Lord said? Get this book up and read it. Come on. That means we got to make some discipline hey, sacrifice. Man. I got to get on out there, get to yeah. by study. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> and, and, and I got to hear because my faith is built by the word of God. Hmm? Yeah. We're trying to do it every Amen. other kind of way, except for what God says. And this book works. Mm. Tell, you know, the old folks said, I tried him and I know him. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, man, we got to get back to because our, our, our foreparents, they didn't mislead us. Our difficulty now is we trying to put a new gospel out there. Mm. 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 Say the word of God changes not. Are you listening to me? Because guess what? Guess what? The end of every one of these churches has this admonition. Uh, whoever has it, yeah, let him mm -hmm. yeah. 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 If you are unclear yeah. about a thing, if you're not yes. sure about a thing, Jesus say, I'm right there. Talk to me. All right. Mm -hmm. And see, when I began to talk to him, when I let go of my thoughts, what I think, how I feel. Mm -hmm. We always want to offer our opinion. Pastor <laughs> 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 Tom, you know, you know what I tell folks all the time. One of the worst things we can ask in uh, in, in a in a church study is, is, "What do you think?" No, no, no. <laughs> the object is, "What does the Spirit of the Lord say?" You know, I got to come in agreement with the Word of God. God ain't coming up coming Man. in agreement with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He, he'll ask sure. your opinion, okay? But, 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 but the scripture still going to say, who yeah. was there to instruct Amen. God and tell him wh where and how to lay yeah. the foundations of the world? Hmm? How, hmm. how do we go get so puffed up, big-headed, and arrogant to think <laughs> then that I can sit up and change and correct what has been said? Mm. And then the other thing right here, oh. if we try it. Max, look at his own phone now. <laughs> if, if we try it, <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> hmm? Are you listening to me, people of God? And I, I'm getting ready to wrap this yes. thing. I'm getting yes. ready to wrap this thing up. But 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 listen okay. to, to, the, to the one. Not only 
because he letting you know I'm coming quickly now. Huh? I, I know y'all might be counting, talking yeah, about it's been over 2,000 years ago, but just like in the old days, and they sitting up there partying and doing everything else, uh, when the Lord got ready to move, it was too late. <laughs> they entered All right. And so God is warning us. But the yeah, thing yeah. about this church at Philadelphia, they were steadfast. They didn't let nobody move them. They didn't let nobody influence them. Uh, they were uh, cognizant of the fact of who was talking to them. They tried him. They found out that the oh. word of God works. And so God comes to commend them. And he's saying the same to us today, that he who is faithful, he who holds fast to yeah, the yeah. end, I'm going to give you a brand new name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't want to know and don't want to be called by the name that some folks calling us. Amen. <laughs> God says, I'm going to give you a brand new name. Holiness, redeem, blood wash. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to be in that number, somebody said. Yes. Uh, and, and I'm going to write my name. Uh, can I throw you a little twist in there? Because we talk about that synagogue of Satan. Uh, if you keep on reading down through the book of Revelation, you're going to see a number called 666. The adversary <laughs> also writing some yeah. names on some folks. Uh, and even though the Bible tells us in John 10 that God, Jesus says, I know mm -hmm. my sheep. You better mm -hmm. know that the devil know those who belong unto him. Uh, uh, and yeah. all, not only does he know, but he, because he knows you don't belong to him, it's all out war. He's seeking to destroy you. So you better be sure and very sure mm. that your ankle holds and grips the solid rock. Know that this rock is Jesus. Know that Hallelujah. Jesus already testified and declared, I hold the key. Mm. Opening doors, closing yes. doors. The doors are open. Ain't nobody can shut you down, shut you out. Ain't nobody can de deter my purpose for you. Hmm. Hmm. Are you listening, church? Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Yes. See, because yes. when we are clear, when we go to the rock of our salvation, when we oh. tend, spend a little time with Jesus, hear oh, what the Jesus. Lord is saying. See, he already then told me, and see, the only brand that I want is redeemed. Oh. <laughs> Raptured. I am a child of the living God. Hallelujah. I've been made brand Amen. new. Amen. This Amen. is the testimony of the church at Philadelphia. They were faithful to yes. the word. And though their strength might have, they, you know, working so long, they got tired and the journey seemed like a little hard. God came and assured them, don't worry about a thing. I got you. Mm -hmm. And, and, I, and you. I believe God wants somebody to know that today. I I, I got you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a testimony. Yes. Well, I cannot fail. It will not return yeah. for it. Nobody can snatch you out of my hands. You belong yeah. unto me. We yeah. are the redeemed of the Lord. Yeah. Got a brand new name. Somebody yeah. said over in glory land. Yes. Uh, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got to take ownership of it. It's mine. Mine is mine. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Let us unmute ourselves and, and give Thank you. Brother Woo. Thompson a round of applause for allowing God to Hallelujah. use yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the living word. Yes, Lord God. For the living word. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. Amen. I Thank tried you. him Bless and I know name. him. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory Reverend to God. Thomas, you have truly blessed Love us you. tonight. Oh, yeah. And yes, I, 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 I just feel that, that we all can really uh, walk away knowing that the Church of Philadelphia really is a good representation to, to mimic. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you for allowing God to use you. Amen. Yes. Amen. And I'm so glad you didn't take no shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs>
Amen. He gave straight at us. Hallelujah. Thank yes. you, Lord. To God be the glory. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. And Reverend Thompson, I mean, Thomas, the, the one good thing is that you're talking to a very mature congregation. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So it, 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 land, it, it landed on good ground. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. yes. God be the glory. Amen. Behold, he Amen. comes quickly. Yes. 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 Quickly. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Just giving the praise tonight. Oh. Glory to Hallelujah. you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank yes. you, Lord. Yes. Lord. Yes. You are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Lord, yes. 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 Thank you. Bless your name, God. Bless your name. Bless your name. Thank you. Thank you. You glory, glory, Lord. Bless your name. Thank you. For your word. Shut down in a bundle. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Like Jeremiah, oh God. Just can't leave us alone, oh God. The word of God is powerful and sharper than any two edges. Yes, my Lord. Let the word go, oh God. In our life, in the midst of our lives, oh God. Testimony unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. And the Lord of the world. Yes, Lord. Jesus is alive. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Reverend Thomas, well, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to uh, pray some particular prayers for uh, the congregation. Amen. And then I would have you to close us out with a benediction. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us bow our heads and our hearts this evening. Thank Dear God. eternal and gracious God, our Father, we approach yeah, you tonight God. to say thank you. Yeah, thank God. You. Yeah, God. Lord God, yeah, we're just God. so grateful, uh, Father God, that your word uh, is sharper than a two-edged sword, God. Yes, it, it is. It, yeah. it hurt going in, but it also uh, healed us, dear God, coming out. Yes. yes. We just yes. want to thank yes. you, God, yes. that you saw fit, Father God, to mm -hmm. allow us to peek in on these seven churches, Father God. Yes. Oh, God. In yes. such a time as this. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, God, we just want to thank you, Father God, that you know our faults. You know exactly where we are on this journey. And you know exactly what we need, God, to keep pushing. And, yes. Father God, to bring yes. glory and honor to your name and to your church. Yes, yes, yes. We thank you, God, for allowing Reverend Thomas, Father God, to yes, God. share with us, Father God, your word. And, Father God, how it is that we can apply your word. Yeah. Father God, your word still stands true today. As it, it will work back like then when it was first yes, yes, uh, put yes, on paper. Yes. So, God, tonight I'm asking you to go from heart to heart of us present on this Zoom call. Mm -hmm. Do it, God. Do it, God. Touching us exactly where it, we God. need to be touched and reminding us, God, that it's only by your grace Hallelujah. that we have granted this opportunity, Father God, yes. to uh, yes. allow technology to have us in separate places, mm -hmm. in yes, different so cities and different states, God, and still mm -hmm. gather around yeah, your God. word as the mm -hmm. center of attention. Mm -hmm. so I pray now, God, that your word has been mm -hmm. planted deeply in our Do hearts it. and going to be carried out in our lives and going to be believed in our hearts mm -hmm. and going to be meditated on our minds. So, God, thank you tonight. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank and I'm asking God for a special mm -hmm. blessing for uh, Tika. Dear God, we're, mm -hmm. we're just praying, Father God, for your healing. Yeah. Oh God. And Lord God, I'm asking you right now in the name of your son Jesus Christ, continue, Father God, to lift her mother up. Yes. Cheryl, God, continue mm -hmm. to lift yeah. her up. God. Yeah. 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 It's a oh. difficult road, God. Oh, yes. It yeah. has nothing to do with, with our faith in you, Father yeah. God, but these mm -hmm. are difficult times. Yeah. So I'm yeah. asking you in the yeah. name of Jesus Christ, Father God, to lift that entire family up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And let them feel your presence. Do it, God. And yeah, Lord God, yeah. I'm asking you to continue to be with my wife and her siblings, God, and yeah, our children, the great grandchildren. Yeah. Uh, Father yeah. God is. Uh, yes, Lord. Her mother rests with you now, God. Oh, yes, Father. Yeah. Asking you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Continue, yeah. Father God, to comfort us all. Yes. yes. Please, Father. Lord, you know exactly what we all are going through. That's yeah, right, Lord. And we're so glad, God. We we heard tonight, Father God, that you would never, ever, 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 ever Ooh. leave us. 
You God. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Your Holy Spirit is, is, is invincible, God. Yes. So we come tonight, Father God, just glad yes. to be in your in your presence yes. one more yes. time. Hallelujah. Yes. Pray yes. tonight, well, God, God, that you continue to bless to our Reverend praying. Robert Thomas, Father God, and his family. Yes. I continue, yes. God, to yes. mold yes. him and, and to encourage his heart, God, and mm -hmm. let him know, yes. Father God, that there's still yes. work to do. So, yes. God, we just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. I thank you for everyone that is on this Zoom call tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Continue to bless our families. Yes. yes. Continue, yes. God, to remind us how blessed we are to know you and to be yes. in relationship with one another. Mm -hmm. So, God, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Yes. Thank you. Us coming together, God, is your idea. Oh, oh yes. 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 So, God, we come, Father, mm. honored to be in your presence. Yes. So, Lord God, we thank you for tonight. We thank, thank you, God, as we embark, you. Father God, on what we call Good Friday. Mm -hmm. But, Father mm -hmm. God, it's not good if, the, if, if we do not know mm -hmm. Jesus. It's not a Good Friday. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hallelujah. It's knowing Jesus that make it Good Friday, God. Yes. Yeah. But we never yeah. want to lose sight of that. Because, Father God, we stand on that great getting up morning. In the name yeah. of Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. He's alive Hallelujah. and after he's our resurrected Amen. redeemer. He's yes. our redeemer. Yes. So we just want to thank you tonight, God. Thank you, Lord God, for and your Father awesome God, continue Lord. to be with yes. every member, Father God, of your church. Yes, Lord God. Not only great institutional, Father God, but do every it, church Lord, door that I do it. in the name of Jesus yes, Christ. I pray mm -hmm. now, God, for yes, prosperity God. and growth. Yes. Spiritual growth. Yes. And Father God, yes. get to know how yes. much we have, Father God, when we have yes. you as our Savior and Lord. Mm -hmm. So have your way tonight, God. Have you ever been indebted to your kindness and your mercy? Oh, glory, glory. You're an awesome God. Yes, yes you are. You're an awesome God. Yes, yes you are. And we thank you. Mm. So, Father God, tonight, thank you, Father. it's in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We heard, Father, we heard the word tonight. Yes. And we thank you. Mm. Glory, Lord. We are your church. Yes, God. Mm. We're honored, God, to be your church. Yes, yes. oh, God. So, yes, Father God, yes. have your Holy Spirit, Father God, to have us to represent your church. Do yes, it. yes. And all God, that we do, God, God we want to bring you the glory and the honor. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. So this prayer we pray is in yes, the Lord. precious yes. name of your only Son and our sinless Savior. Yes. Jesus the Christ, we pray. Yes, Lord. And all of God's children yes, say, Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory. And Glory. Reverend, and no coach you give us the benediction for yes, tonight. Yes. 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 Father, your word asks us when you return, will you find faith on the earth? God, we heard this church at Philadelphia. God, a great model. Faithful. Mm -hmm. We want to be found faithful, God, because we yes, God. heard your word tell us, oh God, that you are able to present us faultless before the glory and excellency of God the Father. And God, I just vision that you got a great big smile on your face. The Lord is yes. the for whom I have died. Yes. Yes. To God the Father, the Son, the Holy yes. Spirit, to him who is yes. able to keep us from falling. Mm. And to present us faultless, we say, thank you, God. Thank That's you. Thank your thank people. You. For Amen. your glory and for your name's sake. Amen. 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 Once again, Reverend Robert, I, I just want to thank you so much for uh, lending uh, God's grace to us tonight. And Amen. I pray that we all have been encouraged and realize how blessed we are. Mm -hmm. Amen. To have this technology, Amen. And to have the desire, Amen. You want to study and practice God's word. Yes, 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 yes. So everybody Amen. have a blessed night. Uh, Thank you. And I'll tell you, Robin Cheryl, it's a joy to see you, and you are in Amen. our Amen. Amen. Thank Praise you the Lord. so much. And Praise prayer works. I prayer works. Thank you for it praying. Works, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and praying twice in one day. A powerful <laughs> How Hallelujah. about that? Yeah. Okay. Amen. 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 God bless you, Reverend Thomas. God Thank bless you, you Reverend Thomas. Everybody Thank be you. blessed. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Good night. Amen. Good night. Amen. Good night. Hello to, Hello to Chandra. Mm -hmm. Got it. Be blessed, everybody. Amen. Bless. Amen. You too. Uh, where is it? That is. Bye. Bye. Bye.